Hi, I'm making this video because my phone has died, the LCD screen and the um, sensor to touch the screen are not working. My phone is currently locked so I cannot um, download and when I hook up to my computer it's showing no data. If you have this problem, I have the Samsung S4. I've done everything. I've taken out the back um, and tried to see if rubbing it, doing the alcohol and drying it out would work. And basically the LCD and digitizer are gone. I have a new phone on the way, but before it comes, I want to be able to back up all my information. So this video is going to show you what I did. So I found that if you buy this one um, component, it's called the HDTV adapter and an OTG card reader. Basically, it's this device right here and it's going to hook up to my phone and then it's going to hook up to the television so I can see my screen and I'm going to attach a mouse to it so I can actually unlock my screen. So here, let me hook that up for you right now. So, I have, now let me just point out this. My phone, you can see my phone is on. It works. The lights come on at the bottom. It says that nothing works. Nothing there works, alright? So I know that my phone is working. I could feel a vibrate go on. It has notifications. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up into the bottom. So you can see I've hooked this in. Now, what I have to do is I have to plug in a mouse. Now I just have a plain mouse. It's a retractable mouse. And the mouse is going to go in right here into the USB. Okay? And you can see that the mouse came on for a minute. In a minute, there's a power cord that also came with it. What they do not give you, though, is a little adapter that comes with your phone. So what you have to do is you have to actually plug this in. Okay? And then I'm going to plug this into the little DC thing right here. All right, now I'm going to plug this into the wall over here. After you plug in the mouse and you plug in the DC outlet to the wall, then you have to actually take the HDMI cord, which is right here, make sure it's plugged in all the way, and you're going to connect that to your TV and put the TV on, you know, whatever um, video source that needs to be on to connect to that HDMI. Sometimes it's um, video HDMI 2 or if you put it in the HDMI 1 port, whatever it may be. But this cord is going to go directly to your television. So now that is pretty much your setup that you need to have. Here is the converter. It goes to the phone. This is connecting to your TV. This is going to power. And this is the mouse right here. And we are all set to look at our TV and to um, see the image of our phone. I'll be able to see my screen up there. I don't know if you can see it. But there is the pattern, right? So I'm going to take my mouse, and my mouse will actually show up on here. It's going to be hard. Alright. I'm going to do my pattern. So you can see the mouse. I'm going to do my pattern. And my, phone, my screen comes unlocked. Now I can control it because all the buttons are there. What I suggest that you do is that you I have a message. You can actually check all your messages. You can go to your phone. You can actually see your missed calls and whatever else you have. You hit the home button and you go back. The first thing you want to do though when you do this is you want to first of all take off your lock screen. So you're going to go to your settings and you're going to go to your lock screen which is on your device where it says lock screen and the first thing you want to do is you want to scroll down if you want to you want a mouse with a scroll it's a screen lock. You have to confirm your pattern. You do it again with your mouse. And then you go down and you say none. So now when you go to plug your phone in to download it onto your computer. The next thing I would recommend is that you go to keys and you put back up all your information. This is also the place where you can check a lot of other things. You can go to your accounts and go to Google. You can go and do several different things. All right. So that'll tell you how you can get any control and actually you can use your phone as long as you can hook it up to a TV while you're waiting for your new phone. You can click and check on any of these. You can uh, go to the next screen over and see what else you have. Alright, so good luck with that.